Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today we're looking at why men's bikes have a horizontal crossbar and women's usually don't. It would seem that having a slanted crossbar like on women's bikes would make much more sense for males' bikes, decreasing the chance of racking the guy if he does something like slip off the pedals. However, there is a really good reason to have a horizontal crossbar on a bike. Namely, the horizontal crossbar ends up adding quite a bit of strength to the frame of the bike. This was particularly important in some of the early bikes, which were often made of significantly weaker materials than modern-day frames, occasionally even being made of wood. The problem with this horizontal crossbar was that women all used to wear dresses. So when a woman wanted to get on a bike, she'd have to lift her leg over the bike frame's crossbar, which was quite scandalous for the time as it often exposed a bit of leg and possibly some underwear. Thus, bike makers began making bike models just for women that slanted the top crossbar down so the women could mount and dismount the bikes without lifting their legs very high. Modifying the crossbar like that significantly weakened the frames of the bicycles, but this was considered acceptable, as it wasn't very ladylike for women to ride their bikes as roughly as some men did. The tradition has continued to this day, even though most women don't go around riding bikes in dresses or skirts anymore. For the most part, on modern bikes, this weakening of the frame by slanting the crossbar isn't significant enough to cause any concern for the bike's structural integrity, even on rough terrain, given modern materials that the frames are made of. Indeed, many BMX bikes for men are now designed with the slanted crossbar to reduce the chance of injury while doing tricks. Among high-end bikes made for women, this tradition of not having a horizontal crossbar is starting to go away, even though the added strength from a horizontal crossbar isn't typically necessary anymore, particularly with carbon fiber frames. That said, in extremely high-end bikes where every gram counts, this can be a factor in eliminating some material. On these high-end bikes, the difference between men's and women's bikes now tends to be reflected in the design by accounting for the shorter torsos and arms on most women. It also accounts for modified hip placement, modified seat design, and things of this nature. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this seven days a week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one, and thank you for watching.